is up my geeks and freaks big girl geek here with a brand new review and today i'm here to review vagrant queen season one episode one is the pilot episode so y'all know what time it is it's time for Three, the geek out. okay so i came across this um tv show i saw um a um like commercial or something for it or an ad or something for it and it is based off a comic of the same name from i think vault comics um i have not read this comic before um so i'm coming in fresh from the show uh on the show with fresh eyes not really knowing if it's sticking true to the comic or not but i i was going to give it a chance but i'm like i have very low expectations because it is on the sci-fi channel no shade to you sci-fi channel fans but we know the type of product <laughs> they produce, the type of what they put out there as far as their TV shows and movies. Um, and so I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I give it a shot. Um, looking for some new things during this whole quarantine, stay at home orders that we're all going through. Most of us, I think, are <laughs> going through anyway. Um, so yeah i was like let me take a look um you know i work from home so i just have to get up and you know go to my little makeshift office but before i like before i do that i was like let me just just watch it so um yeah i gave it a go um i watched it on sci-fi app so yeah it's very it's very sci-fi channel it's like i haven't watched the sci-fi channel in a long time i did want to start um, the TV show Krypton. If you are a fan of Sci-Fi Channel, if you watch Krypton, um, also please let me know in the comments. Is that worth? I know it's off now. I think it's been canceled, but I think it had maybe like two seasons, two or three seasons. Let me know if that's worth giving it a go. Seeing, you know, Krypton before Superman is born. And also, if you have watched this show, let me know if um, you're enjoying it. If you're not enjoying it, if I should watch another episode. Because after watching this pilot episode, I um. I don't know if I'm going to continue. It's a great um, story, but I feel like I've seen this before. Even as far as like, you know, they're in outer space. This is years into the future. There are alien, weird looking aliens. Um, there's an in enemy organization known as the Republic. I just... I don't know, man. I feel like I've seen this. And it's, it's giving me, like, these fugitives on the run. It's giving me Firefly vibes, but not as much. Because these actually have weird-looking aliens. So it's giving me a mixture of Firefly slash Star Wars slash Star Trek slash Altered Carbon, <laughs> which I just did um, a review on. So make sure you check that out. That should be on the channel now. Um, so, yeah, it's giving me, it's giving me... All of those shows mixed into one and I feel like I've seen this story so it follows a young girl named Alita who was um, who's a queen who was supposed to take over this throne uh, as part of this royal family from her mother but this Republic came in um, and tried to like you know get rid of the royal family so they can take over so they you know shot up her mom shot her mom and she saw that happen, but she never really actually saw her mom die. And um, before that happened, um, her mom like shot off in the space to save her or whatever. And so eight years later, she's kind of grown up on the run and you know, she's a skilled fighter. She's a scavenger um, and she's like running from them. And then she meets a whole plethora of characters that come to her aid, a mechanic. And then this other guy that she stole the ship from, who's a lawyer, but also a good fighter who's gonna help her. And they're going, and he tells her, you know, spoiler alert, I'll put spoilers. He tells her that, you know, her mom is actually alive. And um, so now it's probably gonna, they're probably for the remainder of the season gonna be trying to get back to her mom, if that's even true. Um, and she has a group of followers that are kind of after her that want her to, you know, be a, a real queen and stop being on the run and take back her title and overthrow this republic. And it sounds all great, but it's just I wish it was maybe on a channel that can do more for it. Um, because the actors are actors I've never seen before in my life. Never heard of them. Never seen them. Don't know who they are. C-list, D-list actors and it just feels very soap opera low budget y but yet the graphics and the cgi and the special effects are actually not that bad they're really not that bad 
Um, they're not on the level, of course, you know, Marvel, Disney, and Star Wars or whatever. But it's not that bad for sci-fi, actually. It looks cool. The look and feel of it is cool. But the actual acting <laughs> kind of takes me out of it. And I don't know if that's just my bias towards sci-fi channel. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it three episodes max. And then we'll see how I feel. But I, I'm intrigued about the actual story. Maybe I'll read the comic before I continue the series. Would that make, would that see if I like it? Because I like the premise. Even though it's very familiar, it's very cliche. But if done right, I can rewatch the same kind of story told differently with different characters you know what I mean and I also like the fact that this main character is a woman of color so um that intrigued me as well because we don't have a lot of that <laughs> so I kind of wanted to succeed but I don't know if I could watch it <laughs> if that makes sense but wait hold on the title I'm gonna get the um, actual title of this episode because it wasn't just pilot usually um when a series starts out um it'll just be like you know season one episode one pilot but i think i did see a title for it and i'll put it in the um i'll put it in the the description hold on let's see if i can find it a royal ass kicking that's what it was called a royal ass kicking okay so yeah so we see her you know on the run in the space station people are helping her because they know her she's changed her name but it's it's kind of the same so they have these little jokes in there i mean they curse and cuss and all that type of stuff um her name's l and um she had like this little friend named nim that was helping her that was like this little alien furby and so i mean it's it's a it's it's like a quirky group of characters or these outlaws but i feel like i've seen them all before like i said i feel like i've seen this but um yeah i think they have about about seven or eight episodes have already aired so i'm like behind but I mean, the costumes are actually pretty cool. I like the look of the, the main character, um, her whole outfit, her whole badass, you know, female vibe going on. So I appreciate that. <laughs> but I just don't know because it's on sci-fi. So, I mean, sci-fi aside, if this was like on another channel or something like that, um, geez, I'd probably give it like a, I'd probably give the first episode like a B minus. I'm interested, but I don't know if I want to go in all the way. It's an hour long, so hour long series. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. Um, but if any of you guys actually are up to date on it, caught any more than one episode, please let me know in the comments if I should, should continue this. Or even if you read the comic, let me know if I should go ahead and pick up the comic. And um, as always, I can't wait to discuss with you. So until next video, I am out of here. Big Girl Geek out. Peace. Hey, where are you going? You just watched a cool video. Subscribe.